What's up Springfield, beautiful city that I love, it's your boy Raheem Escalai and we are going with episode 345 of 413 Sports Talk, good to see you, it is 8.15pm, I'm downtown, uh, across from Tower Square in this beautiful park, there's a sneaker behind me, but I got my slippers on, um, child remember, I can't really put on sneakers right now anyway, so, um, yeah, we're here, this is it, episode 345, Damn. I don't know anybody in the world that can stand Trump three times. Corny. Yeah, kind of corny. Anyway, um, this is what I got for you today. Damn, I'm just taking in everything down here right now. It's a beautiful night. Everybody's out on the most three wheel things, uh, motorcycles. Oh, yeah! That shit is crazy. Those are those three wheel things. Everybody's got the LED lights on under them. It's pretty awesome. Um, it's always it's always a chill, beautiful, uh, beautiful vibe down here in the greatest city on earth. Uh, I mean, um. Anyway, yeah. Um, let's talk real quick. Let's do a little freestyle. A couple stories in the news to talk about. Um, Thank you for your continued support of the show. I got new scores from yesterday, last night. Uh, a lot of Celtics fans are in their feelings all day. Who gives a fuck? Um, power rankings. Are, there's a huge shakeup, uh, definitely on the softball side. We'll get. We'll, we'll talk about that um, as the week uh, continues to progress. Um, this should come out Sundays and yet and Wednesdays, but I'm gonna drop in one and be tomorrow the next day. Gotta get together. Anyway, um, let's just start episode 345 right now, because I'm a little, it's a little jumbled right now, it's a little, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever, just in a little bit of fun. Anyway, so, <coughs> last night's Cleveland Guardians game and Chicago White Sox was postponed due to COVID-19. That would obviously mean that uh, the COVID is like on the rise again if they're ca- canceling sports. So I'm asking you, if you got a, ca- a ch- kid who's um, a student athlete, you got somebody older in your family, um, maybe a newborn, a young toddler, mask up. Just I just think it's I think it's the best thing to do. You know what I mean? Just just wait it out a little bit longer. Because they kind of were, were, were like rushing the, taking away the mask mandates, in my opinion. It's probably just a setup for something. Anyway, um, that's an example right there of why you need to uh, wash your hands, sanitize, and mask up, all that good shit. Um, somebody who's on some bad shit, uh, Nick Saban. Uh, he denies the stiff allegations that his football program violated NCAA rules in recruiting ex-Louisville uh, wideout Tyrell Harris. Um, they had contact with him before he entered the transfer portal in April, is the report right now. It's about time. Take down that fucking Titan. Give somebody else a chance to win. Sorry all my uh, Bama fans out there who are paying attention to this, but it's time. Pass the fucking torch already. The next GM seeks some more commitment from star point guard Kyrie Irving. The media's tourist man up. Um, talking about my boy's mental health. He's somebody who stands for mental health and knows the struggle and, and, and what it's like. Um, GM seeking more commitment now. Might be a little more, but like, it might be a little bias for me. But <laughs> not GM. Come on, man. This is a this is a, an issue that's plaguing everybody. You know why not? Just like go with it, and you know maybe this is something that needs to happen. Um, well, maybe I'm just like being pig-headed about it. Maybe maybe you know he's a professional athlete. Maybe he does need to uh, show more commitment. But I don't know. I just think you're being a little insensitive. Oh. The uh, whole mental health thing here. Anyway, shout out to another one of my uh, mental health fighters. She's always aware of it. Uh, Naomi, my homie Osaka. Uh, she leaves IMG Academy in Florida to form her own sports agency. Kudos to you. 
Miss Osaka, if you ever get a chance to see this, I've been a fan for a while. Um, I send you a lot of prayers, good wishes, and I hope that you succeed at this endeavor. I'm really excited to see um, what you put forth as far as your own sports agency. Um, Bruce Kopka, one of the top golfers in the country, former number one actually, um, withdraws from this weekend's AT&T uh, Brian Nelson um, due to hip and knee, knee issues. Um, get better, get better Bruce. Like I say, he's one of the best golfers in the country um, and one of my favorite golfers actually. Uh, Giannis, yeah, 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 you get to talk about Giannis. Dropped a 40-piece hot wing with the Franks on the side. Oh, my God. Um, and the Bucks cruise to victory. 110-107 over the Celts. Take a 3-2 series lead. Look, uh, one thing I know is the Celtics lost. My wallet got bigger. And, and yeah, I'm all, I'm all smiles as far as that's concerned. Not really a Boston fan. I have concerns for the way y'all feel. You know what I mean? You guys don't even deserve to be there. And I want to see y'all out facing elimination. Game six. Goodbye. That's not going to sit well with a lot of you. Uh, Rangers staying alive in the series. With a 5-3 win over the Penguins. Pitt leads the series 3-2. They face an elimination game tomorrow on the ice. Um, what else I got for you? The Milwaukee Brewers' Christian Yelich becomes just the sixth player in MLB history to hit for the cycle three times in his career. Wow. So, for some of you who don't follow the baseball, the cycle is that's first, second, third, um, grand slam. He's done that three times in his um, in his career. So, shout out to Christian, Christian Yelich. Um, I don't know too many Milwaukee Brewers fans, but... They got the win. Um, and out of where, this is Western Mass Sports, uh, the Lady Indians came to Springfield, or excuse me, not came to Springfield, the Lady Indians beat my Lady Golden Eagles 12-7. Uh, to 7. Um, Central is 1-4 in the last five outings, unfortunately. We'll get better, though. We're the best high school on the East Coast. I mean, you know, can't be perfect, right? Uh, Memphis stays alive and they are determined to bring down Golden State in seven games. They achieve a victory 134 to 95. Uh, Golden State leads 3 2. Um, and the elimination game will be tomorrow. Um, I don't know. These boys, these boys, I saw a meme up today. Um, it, it seems like they might play better without Ja. I don't know. I like Ja Morant. I always think I, I like Ja Morant's aggression. Um, as an um, uh, offensive guy, um, I don't know for a fact if he, um, like if they're better without him. I don't know. I, the numbers look convincing, but it was just a fluke. It's just one fucking game. And, you know, people throw stats up, meaningless stats, and not even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyway, the United States is going to officially host two of Rugby Cups in 2031 and 2033. I can't fucking wait because at, at this point I'm getting ready to play some rugby. A lot of people out there I'd love to fucking demolish. Anyway, that's it for the news. Let's talk about the NBA. I remind um, all you Springfieldians, uh, Celtics fans... The Milwaukee Bucks won last night, 110-107. They lead the series 3-2. Elimination game is tomorrow night. Wow. Uh, that's crazy. Memphis 134, Golden State 95. Golden State leads the series 3-2. Great game. Memphis um, put it together without their star. That was very impressive. Um, and I kind of want to see them force the game 7. But in all honesty... Curry's probably not having that. Um, as you know, Golden State's going to be the eventual NBA champions, and I'm waiting for that. So, we're going to jinx it. Let's start with Western Mass Sports. Um, the girls softball team, Mount Greylock. I'm sorry. I feel like I jinxed y'all last night, or yes, um, in yesterday's episode. Y'all got, y'all got clobbered afterwards. Um, 
I know the, uh, the athletes play the game, but ah, I feel like I jinxed y'all. Y'all were it was an eight eight game winning streak, right? Something like that. Anyway, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about tennis first, though. I have Springfield International Charter over Pioneer Valley Christian three to two. Mohawk Trail beat the Pioneer Valley Chinese Immersion Charter School for one. Minichog did the same to Westfield by the same score. Renaissance over um, Hamden Charter School Science East three to two. Frontier over Turner's Falls four to one. Olympics over Lee three to two, and Noho over Agbom four to one. <coughs> Excuse me. Lacrosse Northampton over Minichog ten to seven. South Hadley beats Chickabee Comp eighteen to five. Chickabee Comp I did think. Um, was the best lacrosse team um, in Western Mass. Not really so sure the last two games. Uh, anyway, Granby over Belcher Town 13-6 and we got Long Meadow edging out um, Agwam 12-11. On to softball. Hampshire beats the shit out of Northampton 22 nothing. Way over Central as we talked about in the beginning 12-7. Who's over McCann Tech 13 to 6? McCann Tech drops two in a row. Um, Turns Falls over Mohawk Trail 13 to 2. Springfield International Charter getting back in the win column, beating Palmer 13 to 2. Lennox beat the fucking crap out of the Putnam Beavers 31 to 15. Beavers are 0 and 9. Uh, St. Mary's over Gateway 5 to 3. St. Mary's showing people how to win and not having to score a lot of games. Two consecutive games, five runs only, two straight wins. Shout out to St. Mary's. Uh, tip the softball onto the boys' side of things. We're talking baseball. First, Scramby over South Point, 6 to 5. Central over Long Metal, 7 to 1. Let's go, Golden Eagles! Uh, Smith Volk beating the hell out of Gateway, 19 to 3. Um, Springfield International Charter beating Putnam, 5 to 4. Darn! 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 Freaking Beavers. Uh, East Longmont over Northampton, 6 to 1. Wakona over Mount Greylock, 5 to 3. Now let's talk about it. I had said the girls earlier. My apologies again. Uh, Mark Greylock's eight-game win streak was snapped. Um, it's okay. They are going to Ludlow Saturday afternoon to face the Lions at 4:30. We will be in attendance and um, look to see them get back on the win column as well. Lennox over McCann Tech five to one. Agawam over Holyoke to zip. Uh, and that's it for baseball, the lone game in tennis, Roger Town over Pioneer Valley Chinese Immersion Charter School, 3-2. to two. And now let's talk volleyball. Uh, West, West Side over Chicopee Comp, 3-zip. Agawam over Ludlow, 3-1. to one. After all, does the same to Chicopee, same score. Holyoke beats Springfield International Charter Bulldogs, 3-0. Frontier over Granby by the same score. Commerce beats where, wow, Red Raiders won. Uh, Commerce over where, 3-2. to two. Putnam beat Central, 3-2 to two in the inner city rivalry game. Wow, not the only time we've ever seen Central lose in the Putnam. Um, that's it for volleyball, lacrosse time. Uh, I got a couple games for you. Husik over McCann, 14-2. Long Meadow over Minichog, 19-13. Lennox over Pittsfield, 16-2. And Chicopee Comp over West Springfield, 14-9. On to track. Shout out to each and every uh, student athlete who participates in track. Um, I see you guys. You guys really work hard at what you do. Hampshire over Easton uh, over East Hampton, 99 to 46. Southwick over Port Francis, 84 to 49. And that is it for Western Mass Sports. Let's talk hockey, Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, I have the Rangers over the Penguins, 5-3. Pittsburgh Elite Series, 3-2. Uh, same score with the Panthers and the Caps. And the Florida leads that series, 3-2. Calgary beats Dallas, 3-2. They lead that series, 3-2. That's it for the NHL. Well, let's talk about baseball. Pittsburgh over the Dodgers, 5-3. Lost on that one, I did. Cincy over Milwaukee, 14-11. Milwaukee in the points, that's gone. So, my parlay, my, my, my parlay was already fucked just off of one game. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, Yanks over the Blue Jays, 5-3. Miami over AZ, 11-3. Uh, Philly beat Seattle by 2, 4-2. Uh, San Fran over Colorado, 7-1. Washington over the Mets, 8-3. Cubs beat the Padres, 7-5. Um, in 10 innings, Tampa Bay takes care of those Angels. Cuts off that win streak, 4-2. Uh, um, Athletics over the Tigers, 9-0. ATL over my Red Sox, 5-3. Houston in Minnesota. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, the score was 5-1, but the game was suspended. Uh, St. Louis over Baltimore, 10-1. 
KC over Texas, 8-2, to two, and that'll do it for Major League Baseball. In the WNBA, Atlanta beats the LA Sparks, 77-75. Chicago over New York, 83-50. And Phoenix beats Seattle, 97-77. WNBA is finished. Let's talk NCAA baseball. UMA over UCF, 16 to 10. Virginia Tech over Liberty, 2 to 1. Liberty is great. Um, has a great baseball team. And I honestly just started getting drawn. That that school started to get my attention um, when I started to do my studying of Malik Lewis a couple months back. And um, they, 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 got, they got a good sports program, um, as evident right there. But. It was a loss. Old Miss over Southern Miss 4-1, to and that caps off baseball and NCAA softball now. I had Missouri, Mississippi State over LSU in nine innings, 7-4. Missouri beats Auburn, one zip. Uh, Florida over Texas A&M, 4-1. And Old Miss over Georgia, 9-5. That's it for the collegiate stuff. Let's talk NFL in 32 and 32. The Chicago Bears, and this closes out the NFC North. Now... <sighs> it, took, it, it took a lot in me to not be biased with. Um, it took a lot in me to not be biased with uh, going over this because these are the Bears. You know what I mean? And it's always been go pack go for me. It's never going to be anything else. Uh, but first, let me hit you with three fun facts about the Bears because you know this is just to defend. This is just a to, 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 to defend what I just said about how sucky they are. Um, one second. Alright, so here's three facts about the Bears draft. Five, four. Um, cornerback Kyler Gordon, uh, the top of their pick, the top uh, draft pick of this team, has never allowed a touchdown in 18 college starts. Um, now, an interesting fact that I pointed out about Sauce Gardner. Um, out of Cincy, um, never gave up a touchdown in his entire collegiate career. Now I understand that's against MAAC talent. Um, he definitely didn't play any Power, power Five schools uh, since he was undefeated this year. And you know, Sauce Gardner, his size, his speed, his the knowledge, the knowledge in the zone is just. It's the, that's just too big to ignore. Um, and he had a similar stat of never giving up a touchdown in his collegiate career. Although Sauce Gardner had more starts um, than Kyler Gordon here. Um, safety Jaquan Brisker. Um, he didn't get a penalty in his last two seasons in college. Um, and that's saying something in the Big 12. A lot of the defensive backs are often, often asked to... Um, Keep the, keep these receivers down with uh, complex coverages. Um, so it's that's something else that bodes well in their favor. Offensive lineman Braxton Jones allowed just three sacks in three seasons as a starter. That's okay. Edge rusher Dominique Robinson played the position for two years. Uh, and, excuse me, and we will talk about that more. Let's just get through it quick because they're the fucking Bears, and I hate them, and I'm a Packers fan. And you know how that you know how that goes. So Kyler Gordon, round two, 39th overall. Thought this was a good pick. Um, I admired Washington's entire secondary. As most of them got picked within the first 50. Um, Trent McDuffie was the top guy. Uh, Kyler Gordon played alongside him on the other side. Um, sometimes he went inside and covered the slot guy. Uh, he took advantage of his quickness, which I think was good. Good eyes right there uh, from the defensive coordinator. <coughs> um, another another good another lockdown guy here. I think he is going to help that defense when it comes to stopping Aaron. But then again, they're not really going to have to deal with Aaron for how much longer. Who knows? 
So yeah, Kyler Gordon, second round pick, 39th overall. Uh, Jaquan Brisker was also taken in the second round pick, 48th overall. I was surprised he slid down that far. Um, I had Brisker as my number five, but I gave him a first, second round grade. Um, I thought that there would be a team that would bite on him uh, after those two top corners were taken, especially with um, Derek Stingley's future not really, you know, being, it's not guaranteed, you know, coming off that injury or whatever. So that was my, that was my thought behind that. Anyway, not, not um, spending too much time on one guy, but Jaquan Brisker's a guy who's He's going to come in, you rotate him in, he can play a little corner. Um, he's automatically going to be a special teams guy. Um, and I think the explosiveness and the big plays that we saw in that Penn, uh, um, from him uh, when he was at Penn State are, are it's going to be evident often. So I think the Bears are going to do better with this year. Um, definitely pass coverage. Mm, wide receiver... Uh, Vilas Jones, round three, seventy-first overall. I honestly don't know much about him. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's in, he wasn't even on my top fifty when I was breaking down the wide receivers and got got it down to my top ten list. Um, it will be interesting to figure out uh, figure out this guy, do some scouting on him. Third round, seventy-first overall. Braxton Jones, around 568 overall out of Southern Utah. This is honestly like that kid out of Tulsa who the Cowboys took. I really don't know too much about him either. Um, I think if, if GMs are reaching that much um, in the fifth round, then I, it's, it's a good sign. They have to know something about him. Um, another guy I'm going to put on the list to uh, some extra investigating. Dominic Robinson, uh, 74th overall from Miami, Ohio. Small school. It's another another one. What else do we have? Offensive lineman Zach Thomas, 6th round, 186th overall out of San Diego State. One thing I will tell you about the Aztecs this year is that passing game. Um, I think... The way they climbed up the NCAA top 25 was a bit sus, especially when they couldn't get past Coastal Carolina. Coastal Carolina was ranked 17th. The Aztecs were like 18th. They lost. Um, it was like three or four games that they went on winning, and they lost at the end of the year, and that had them falling out of the top 25. Um, I don't know where you would point the finger. As far as they're concerned, but all right, congrats for him. You're getting drafted. Preston Ebner, running back from Baylor. Um, I was gifted enough to watch Baylor's defense um, when breaking down JT Daniels and um, uh, uh, Jalen Petrie um, when I was looking at the Baylor defense. So, no, you're going to add to the list. Doug Kramer, 6th round, 27th overall, out of Illinois. Hometown guy, we're looking at like that right there. Jatri Carter, out of Southern University. Wow. 7th round, 226 overall. Elijah Hicks, 7th round, 254th overall, out of Cal. Trenton Gill is a punter out of NC State, taking the 7th round, 255th overall. And there goes the draft class for the Bears. A lot of names that I've never heard before. Um, and it's uh, it's interesting because it speaks to the talent of the scouts. Um, and how much they do their homework and um, things of that nature. It's going to be interesting to see if any of them pan out. I hope not because it's the Bears. But this concludes uh, uh, the 32 and 32 with the NFC North. Tomorrow I bring you a new 
a division in which we will break down the draft class. And this concludes episode 345 of 403 Sports Talk. I'm Rahim Eskalai. Come see us on YouTube. Thank you for your continued support of the show, interacting with the posts, watching episodes. You guys are the fucking bomb. I'm going to get out of here and enjoy my night, just like you guys should too. Hug your loved ones. Love you all. Wish you nothing bad. Thoughts of success. And we'll see you tomorrow with 346.